There are two APIs to work with Vue, Composition and Options API. And there are many developers out there who are confused as to why there are two APIs. Like, why not commit to just one, right? Well, there are reasons. And in today's video, we will talk about the differences between Composition API and Options API. We will cover why does the Composition API even exist? Which one is better? When should you choose Compositions over Options? And lastly, can you use both at the same time? Let's see the differences first. Here's the code for Options API, and here's the code for Decomposition API. In the Options API, the reactive state is created inside data, as you can see here. The increment method is inside, of course, methods, and the computed property doubled is inside the computed. But in the Composition API, everything is declared inside the setup function. We use ref to create the reactive state, and computed to create the derived state. All the logic stays together in the same place. Now, if you're new to Vue.js, the answer is quite obvious, right? Options API looked much better because everything is organized and you don't need to use ref to create reactive state. Then the question is, why does the Composition API even exist? Well, one of the problems that the Composition API is trying to solve is the scalability and the maintainability issues of Options API. With the Options API, if you have multiple features like, for instance, a loader, a counter, and some API fetching, each piece of logic gets split into different parts of component, like the lifecycle, like unmounted, data, methods, computed, etc. This can make your components honestly harder to maintain as they get bigger. Like imagine you have hundreds, thousands of lines of codes, you'd have to go back and forth between data, methods, computed, and life cycles. The Composition API fixes this by letting you group all related code together in the setup function. And if you want to reuse that logic elsewhere, it's so easy to move it into a composable. And so you get this flexibility when you work with Composition API. Now there's actually another way to write Composition API and that is by using the script setup. This will let you write your code like this. Notice that you no longer need to write the export default and the setup function. It feels like you're writing your own JavaScript code. Now the question is, is Composition API even worth using? A lot of people still prefer to use the Options API because of its simplicity, cleanliness, and structure. Like when I look at this code, I can tell that I can read it because everything makes sense. The states, oh, they're in the data. The methods, of course they're in the methods. And I look at the Composition API and it's quite hard to read and it's quite messy. However, this is where it gets interesting. The reason why it's hard to read and messy, it's not because of Vue.js or Composition API. It's not their fault. It's your fault. And you know what they say, skill issue. Seriously though, the Composition API is created to give you the freedom to structure your own code. It really forces you to write your code like how you write JavaScript. So if you think Composition API is hard to read and is messy, maybe it's time to know how to write better code. So which one is better? Options API or Compositions API? Look, I'm biased towards the Options API because I've used it a lot longer than the Composition API. But I'd say this, if you're going to create components with less complexity and scalability isn't your biggest priority, go with Options API. But if you want to scale and if this is going to be your first time using Vue, I'd actually recommend starting with Composition API because it'll force you to look for best practices on how to structure your code. Now, can you use both API at the same time? Actually, you can. You can write your script like how you write it in the Options API, but now you have this set of function. But honestly, I don't see the point because it defeats the whole purpose. The whole purpose or the whole idea of the Composition API is to organize your logic by feature. If you start mixing Options API just because you can, you're back to splitting your logic across data, methods, computed, and setup. It becomes messy fast and now your component is much harder to follow. Not just that, you can't really access the properties defined in the options API, like, you know, the data, methods, etc. So the this keyword, you know, the this dot keyword is undefined by default inside the setup. Technically, yes, Vue supports mixing both, and sometimes it makes sense to use them together. Like if you're migrating an old options API component and need to add new logic using composition. But for a brand new component, for example, it's usually better to stick with one approach. It keeps your code cleaner and easier to maintain. So no, 
I would personally not recommend doing that. Now, this video isn't meant to shit on Options API or Compositions API. I really believe both of them have their own purpose. So whether you like the Options API because it's clean and easier to read, or you prefer the Composition API because it's flexible and scales much better compared to Options API, both of these reasons are valid. And honestly, what really matters is picking the right API based on your project requirements and staying consistent in your code base. So that is the Options API and the Composition API. Which team are you on? The blue team or the red team? Let's fight in the comments below. No, I'm kidding. Don't do it. Thank you for watching. My name is Bernard and I will see you in the next one.